Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Yahweh Hakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere brethren out there pushing this word and to you sincere listeners. Just want to go into a quick lesson, which I'm going to probably entitle it, Be Valiant and Show Yourselves Men, which that's an excerpt from 1 Maccabees, the second chapter, which, you know, Lord willing, uh, we're going to read it. You know, and this is just an exhortation, you know, to the true followers of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, to uh, stand up for truth and righteousness in the times that we're getting ready to come into. Okay, like the scriptures say, try, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai shall fight for thee. Okay, because we were created to uphold the standard of our power, and that's going to be a major thing, you know. Uh, in the times that we're coming into okay to uphold that standard of Yahabashim Yahweh Shai throughout all the different persecutions that we're getting ready to come uh come into you know so Yahabashim Yahweh Shai willing uh this lesson will be edifying first Maccabees 2 and 49 it says now when the time drew near that Mattathias should die he said unto his sons now hath pride and rebuke gotten strength in the time of destruction and the wrath of indignation. And that's the same thing that's going on right now. Pride and rebuke have gotten strength. Who's the most proud individual down here upon the earth? Esau Edom. And he's all, he's at the top right now. You know, he has all the, the, the physical power, you know. It says, now hath pride and rebuke gotten strength in the time of destruction and the wrath of indignation. And we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble where great wrath is getting ready to befall you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Verse 50, it says, Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. And this is the mindset that we have to have. If it comes down to, you know, uh, us having to lose our life to remain pure in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that's something we're going to have to do. Okay? We are to defile ourselves by no means. All right? We're to uphold the standard of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai as our ancestors did in the past, okay, and maintain our integrity in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, "Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law, okay, and we have to be zealous for the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and reject any, you know, uh, enticement to have us go astray from the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay, and that temptation is gonna come, man." All right, with all these plagues that are coming down here upon the earth. It says, and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Now, we know and understand that this is a physical battle. Okay, we, we fight a, a spiritual battle. Okay, we ain't going to go toe to toe with Esau, you know, run up on him with guns or, you know, use weapons like the Maccabees did. You know, this is a, a, a spiritual battle that we're fighting down here. But we can use, you know, some of the same uh, tactics, man. Okay, our main deal is to completely uh, reject Satan at every turn, man. And that's what we have to do. Okay, that's how we win this battle, rejecting uh, Satan. All right. And if we have to give our lives, you know, uh, because we reject Satan and trying to stay pure to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that's just, you know, one of the outcomes. Okay. But no one understand that there's going to be individuals down here that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai will raise up with spiritual power to go on the offensive man okay so don't just get in the spirit where you know you think the most high is just everybody's gonna you know get put to death no the most high gonna go on the offensive too okay we just have to wait for the heavenly father to make his move it says call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time so shall ye receive great honor and an everlasting name okay and the individuals that you know uh, uh make it through this ordeal whether it be through martyrdom or them being saved alive and, you know, being delivered in those chariots, you're going to get a great name and great honor in the kingdom. OK, just as the records that we're going to read. It says, was not Abraham found faithful in temptation and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. So Abraham was tempted as well. All right. And what did he do? He followed the commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. OK, and that's a perfect example, man, throughout all the temptation that's going to be thrown at us, we have to follow the commandments of 
Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay? And the greatest example that we have is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. Throughout his whole ordeal, you know, he maintained his integrity in the Heavenly Father, man. He even rejected the offer that Satan gave to him. Satan was going to give him all the kingdoms. You know, he wouldn't have had to go on the cross. He wouldn't have had to, you know, deal with that humiliation that uh, the Romans put him through. You know, he wouldn't have had to, you know, be humiliated by our own people. You know, because Jake was, you know, at the crucifixion site talking shit, man. You know. But if he would have bowed down to Satan, he wouldn't have went through all that. Satan said he would have just gave him all the kings, but that would have angered the heavenly father, man. So he did the honorable thing and followed the commandments of the heavenly father. It says Joseph in the time of his distress kept the commandment and was made Lord of Egypt. Okay. And that's the same thing that's going to happen to us, man. We're going to go through our low period. And then Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to elevate us on such a high level perpetually, man. Okay. The things that we're getting ready to experience cannot be compared to the reward that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has waiting for us, man. Okay. So it's better to stay pure in the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and go through, you know, uh, the trials and tribulations that we're going to go through so we can inherit eternal life. It says, uh, finesse our father in being zealous and fervent, obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Yahweh Shai, which this is talking about Joshua, Yahweh Shai for fulfilling the word was made a judge in Israel. Caleb for bearing witness before the congregation received the heritage of the land. Okay, so what's the, the, the reoccurring theme here? Maintaining your integrity in Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai comes with great reward and honor, man. And that's what we're seeking for, okay? We're seeking for that honor in the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, which is going to translate to being honored down here on the earth. It says, David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Elias, for being zealous and fervent for the law, was taken up into heaven. Ananias, Azarias, and Misael, by believing... We're saved out of the flame. And this is a, one of our main objectives, man. We want to be saved from the fire. Just like Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah were saved from the fire, man. And how do you do that? You maintain your integrity in your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You don't falter, man. Regardless of what's thrown at you. You know, and those, uh, uh, you know, three uh, uh, individuals, that's one of my favorite, you know, accounts in the scriptures, man, because they, they were so bold in responding to the king when he told, you know, when he, he brought them up on charges, man. Okay. They, they didn't care how they responded, you know, to the king because they were the main thing or the thing that was more important was staying true to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. So we, they didn't care if they offended uh, Nebuchadnezzar. And any other time, if it was, you know, uh, removed from a situation dealing with our power, they would do, you know, the... Uh, you know, the, the ambiance to the king, you know, you talk to him a certain way, you know, you give him his reverence because he can, he can put you to death, you know, so you'll, you'll show him that uh, respect. But when it comes to the heavenly father, the most high is above any man down here upon the earth. The most high is above Esau, man. Okay. So we are to give our respect and reverence to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai above any other individual that's down here, man. Okay. Especially Esau Edom, man. He's trying to get you to, to, to go off. Just like Nebuchadnezzar was trying to get the uh, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah to commit iniquity on the side of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, and what did they choose? They chose to stick with the Heavenly Father. And look what the Most High did for him, man. He sent his son down there to save them out of the fire. And Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai willing, the same mercy and favors bestowed upon us. Hopefully the Most High sends his son down here to save us from the fire, man. It says Daniel, for his innocency, was delivered from the mouth of lions. And thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. So if we trust wholeheartedly in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and how do you trust wholeheartedly in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai? You maintain his ways, man. Okay, whatever he told you to do, you trust in that way. And expect him to, uh, you know, have mercy upon you for executing those things, man. Because the things that we're doing are right in the sight of the Heavenly Father. So why why would he put us to death? And why would he put us to death? 
Why would the Most High bring uh, dishonor, you know, upon a vessel that's doing the things that please him? It doesn't make sense, you know? It says, Daniel, for his innocency was delivered from the mouth of lions, and thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. Fear not then the words of a sinful man. Who's a sinful man? Esau eat him. He's going to have all kinds of threats. You know, or, or one of the things they're saying now, you know, if you don't uh, accept what he's offering, you know, that they want to arrest people, you know, in certain countries. OK, oh, you, you, you won't be able to work if you don't accept what we're offering you, man. OK. It says, fear not the words of a sinful man, for his glory shall be dung and worms. And that's the ultimate destination of this damn devil. The Most High is going to destroy him. So we don't got to worry about. What he's threatening to do to us Because at the end of the day Yahweh Yahweh Shai is going to jack this man up He says fear not then the words of a sinful man For his glory shall be dung and worms Today he shall be lifted up Just like Esau Edom He's at the top right now Okay But his, his, his power is slowly waning It says today he shall be lifted up And tomorrow he shall not be found Because he is returned into his dust And his thought is come to nothing Wherefore, ye my sons, be ye valiant and show yourselves men in the behalf of the law. Okay, and that's what we have to do for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We have to be valiant. And I want to look this word valiant up, which this is a uh, valiant from the freedictionary.com. It says, possessing or exhibiting valor, brave, uh, courageous, interpret, or stout hearted, brave. Marked by bravery or courage. So we have to show our courage for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? We can't cower to uh, the devil and his demands. Okay? Nor can we cower to the devil and his threats that he's going to uh, dish out there. I'm going to lock you up if you don't do what I tell you to do. If you don't take this, you know, uh, uh, you know thing that I'm offering. Okay? We're going to lock you up. We're going to put you to death. Okay? We're we going to torture you. We have to maintain our integrity in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. It says boldly courageous, uh, brave, stout-hearted. Let's look this word uh, brave up. Brave, possessing or displaying courage, making a fine display, impressive or showy, uh, to endure or face courageously, okay, to make showy, are splendid to make a courageous show or put up a stalwart front uh, having our displaying courage resolution or daring not cowardly or timid so we have to have uh you know a resolute mind when serving your how about shimmy how shot especially in the times that come man you can't you can't falter okay you can't be uh, uh shaky out here man oh you 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 don't know what side of the fence you on you don't know if you for your how about shimmy how shot or if you're going to side with, with, with the devil Because you're going to fall, man Okay, so you, you just got to Go on that straight path, man Yo, Your eye has to be single You got to be focused on one thing And that's pleasing Yahweh B'ashim Yahweh Shai And trying to reach the kingdom, man Okay So back in the uh, first Maccabees uh, 2 and 64 It says, Wherefore ye my sons be valiant And show yourselves men In the behalf of the law For by it ye shall obtain Glory Okay And what does a real man do A real man Stands for The commandments Of Yahweh B'ashim Yahweh Shai A real man Stands up for the ways Of Yahweh B'ashim Yahweh Shai And these are the kind of Individuals that the Most High is going to deliver And have mercy on And have favor on Okay These are the kind of Individuals that the Most High is going to show His salvation Those That are valiant For the law man Okay That are courageous and maintaining their integrity in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Just let me get this and uh, we'll wrap it up. Didn't, ex didn't expect this to be too long. This is uh, Sirach 4 and 28. It says, Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai shall fight for thee. Okay, so when the Most High sees how, willing you're fo how far you are willing to go for his ways and his name, then he's going to protect you, man. Okay, and see, that's what Esau Edom is not expecting. Esau Edom is not expecting Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to intervene between us and him, man. Okay, he thinks that we're so defiled 
that the Most High is not going to deliver us. Okay, he also thinks that he's going to be able to put us in such a precarious position that we are going to crumble and fold, all right, and bow down to him and forsake Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, but there's individuals down here upon the earth that is not going to bow down to you, man. And they will maintain their integrity in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai until the Most High destroys you and the kingdom is established, man. Just let me bring that out real quick. This is uh, Romans. Romans 11, I'll start at 1. It says, I say then, hath the Most High cast away his people? The Most High forbid. See, and that's what Esau Edom has in his mind, that the nation of Israel has been completely forsaken by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But that's not true. It says, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. The nation of Israel is still down here upon the earth. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is still dealing with the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It says, The Most High have not cast away his people which he foreknew. Wote ye not what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men which have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. And there's a remnant down here, Esau, Edom, okay? You damn devils, there's a remnant down here that Yahweh Yahweh has left that's not going to bow down to you, man, okay? They're not going to succumb to your, your trickery and your, uh, uh, your coercion tactics, man. They're going to maintain their integrity in Yahweh Yahweh and they're going to spit on whatever you got to offer them. Okay, and they will gladly lay down their life to stay pure in the sight of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's gonna piss you off, man. Okay, and the Most High is gonna protect these individuals. He's gonna, uh, you know, give some of them spiritual power. Other strange things are gonna happen to, uh, uh, you know, uh, around these individuals that's gonna protect them. Okay. You know, so I just wanted to go into that. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Yahweh Hakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone. Shalom.